Warriors present three three new rounds in an amateur welterweight contest. Introducing first in the blue corner, weighing in 170 pounds, representing MMA Clinic, TCA Manny Jai Hadoucha. He's very tall. He's not fun to wrestle, that's for sure. I think I've only uh, I've trained a couple of times with him. I, I have as well. And JJ's doing the smart thing. He's trying to chop down those trees. Yeah. Chop the giant down. I mean, Ethan's got to use his reach. He's got to put that jab out there. He, he could jab, and JJ wouldn't be able to hit him with a kick. Yeah, Jay, yeah, he's got to be inside. He can't be on the outside, of course, because that's where Ethan wants to be, doesn't he? He wants to be on the outside. But Ethan needs to be pump, pump, yeah, pumping that jab. Look, he's just a kid, yeah. Jay, he's just looking for that overhand. Ethan's doing the smart thing, and he's not fighting down to JJ's height. He's actually using his height. Effectively, we'll see if he can continue to do it. But JJ's smart. He's winging the punches and trying to chop down the giant. He knows uh, Ethan's just got to watch the overhand. That's the, one of the biggest things, the overhand. And, and this was a smart move by JJ. Let's try and close the distance. Really good throw. Yeah, and oh, reverse. nice roll through, though, by Ethan. Momentum. Get yep. me going again. I didn't want to try to attempt to use that word because I flub it so many times before. Ethan got an under up. Looks nice. Yeah. Joy. Joy. JJ. 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 Abducha. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. A bit. Oh, triangle. But he's going to struggle getting them long legs out to finish that triangle. Oh, momentum again. <laughs> now you straight knee bar. You can do knee bars and straight leg locks and amateur right, but just Correct. no heel locks. Nothing that twists. Yep. This is a really smart move for JJ. If he can get around that big leg and not get leg kicked in the process. Ethan's got to look to try yeah. to get that guard back. He's nearly he's back. Gotten back to half guard. He's got that. He's actually got a deep lock there that he can do, and he was able to use that to reverse. Yeah. JJ smart though. Head and arm choke from underneath. JJ's going for exactly a Jack Mason special. Very, very hard to finish though, but not impossible. But it's hard to finish. With a short time left, it looks like we're yeah. going to finish it's it. It's getting up loose now. He's loose. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> JJ did the smart thing about closing the gym. Double leg. Smart move. Straight underneath. Oh, Ethan's coming out. I'm guessing they, they told him he's a, he's a round down, maybe. Well, he's coming out pretty uh, quick. Jack always tells you you're round down, no matter yeah. if you're winning or not. Now, Jay. JJ, uh, there we go, nice trip takedown. And the body lock is not something that, I, or the body kick isn't one I'd go for. Ethan looking for, I thought he was looking for, gonna look for more. He's got what's a side choke. A 
And the sweep is there, like Jack's saying. What yeah, Ethan would need to do is just he's got literally the, tap that knee yeah. and just roll. He's got, yeah, he's got a uh, inside butterfly. He's got a lot, and plus he's got long legs. He only got to lift that leg. Yep. Lift that leg, that's it. Again, JJ's doing the smart thing. He's settled things down. He's got it nice back to the mat where he wants it to be. Now he's got to contend with this guard. Yeah. There he's got a good butterfly sweep. Butterfly sweep, there and, we go. And there it is, right into mount. Now Ethan needs to settle in. And JJ's nice going to give up oh. his back here. Ethan needs to settle back in. JJ's looking nice to try to. Pound. You, you don't want Ethan in the back. I'm guessing if it goes, he's going to go for a body triangle, which would be horrible. So they can get out of here. No, back to mount. That's it. Got to keep hitting here. Keep hitting. Just keep hitting. Ethan has now. And JJ's protecting himself well, yeah. looking to try to stand up. Ethan's got both hooks in now. Clear. JJ is trying to scrape him off. And with those long arms, he's able to kind of wrap all the way around JJ's arm and neck. But JJ's doing everything right. He's controlling yeah. both of the wrists. He's pushing back up against Ethan. So Ethan's back's up against the cage. Now he's looking to move in. Good sweep by moving yeah, him up. Nice, nice reversal. Now Ethan, Ethan's got to go again. Start using that guard, them long legs. Half butterfly, looking for that same swoop he just hit last time. And with 30 seconds left, now is a good time to try yeah. to throw up like triangle choke. There you go, he needs to let, he's put his foot on the hip. Keep the hip pushing away. Nice, by Jay, you know, control, throw a few shots. Triangle coming from Ethan, there's a triangle, but a, a bit too late. And this is what I said before the round. JJ needs to close boy. that distance, get into the mat, and start working off that. And again, Ethan, Ethan right back out to meet JJ on his side of the cage. Runs, runs straight over to his corner. And JJ's going to look, look for that throw shot, clinch, or shoot. I'm guessing. Ethan needs to start pumping, pumping that jab. And that was nice. He was able to set that up, leg kick, catch the leg, throw the punch. JJ, if he wants to get in on that shot, he's going to have to look to set it up. The only way to set it up, like he said, is that overhand right, right there. There he goes, catch the leg. He's just got to push that head away. Push that head away. Good takedown go. defense. Better. better. No, always just powered through. That's and again, power. that throw and the momentum. Yeah. Omer Platter. He can go Omer Platter it. Yep, there's the Omer Platter. And with those long legs. Oh, he's out, yeah, too much space. And Ethan's got to turn into him. Now, I would have looked at that point of turning back into him because his neck wasn't really in trouble. He could have gone for the double right there and not ended up on his back. Yeah, Ethan's got to work now. Yeah, because JJ's able to settle in right here. Now all he has to do is be heavy. Now, Ethan can come right out the back door. Yeah, there's a hook, just, and he should just turn now. Yep, turn back over. Straight through. Yeah, turn back and pull him on and take his back. All he's got to do is bring JJ's hips up on top of him. Yeah, scramble. No, he's, he's a bit more urgency to get on top there. Good job by JJ to hip over. Yes, great control. Ethan's got to watch a. Uh, looks like he's going to go Kimura. Now, now, as the king of the Kimura, how's this set up? Is it all? No. You know, you know I, it's your favorite, I yeah, know. <laughs> that, I love it from that position, so uh, he was setting up the right way, but uh, Ethan done the right thing defend, defending it, so he, never, he couldn't lock his arms. With 30 seconds left, Ethan's in now on a double. I mean, 
at, at this point, it's kind of a go for broke moment. Yeah. JJ's got the head, but he hasn't got anything to where it would be neck no. in danger. Ethan should go to his back, move around to his back, keep moving. He's going to try and slam him. I know what Ethan's looking for a slam, but he's not going to let him go. Good roll through. Now he needs to cr Ethan needs to cross face. Yep, yeah. and now is just the time to just throw punches. And there we go. We go to the distance between JJ Obdachev. Ladies and gentlemen, at the three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. Who we'll scored about 29 to 28, Aducha. 30-27. Barry and 29-28 for your winner by split decision. In the red corner, Ethan Barry!